you have anything to say? Oh, I gotta say, please save us. We've been slaved by OCD Berlin. I got no energy left. I wanna go home. <laughs> <laughs> anything you wanna say to our viewers? Suck my You try to wipe them off. So when you open the door, you can do it right here. Okay. So it hits it. Just put your knee right there and so you don't risk. It makes it a lot safer if you're worried about hitting trim. Don't take the camera off. Hey. What's up? I'm Joe with OCD Detailing. I'm gonna make Alex nauseous watching this. He's gonna puke from being so shaky. Realistically though, I'm extremely hyper and I have ADHD. So I have trouble standing still. So a lot of times when I hold this camera, it shakes really violently. And then I watch Alex in there doing the editing. He says he's editing. Maybe he's just watching porn, but he says he's editing this, and uh, it, it, he said it's really hard to watch. I stared at the screen for a minute. I had trouble doing it, so I gotta apologize. Fully stealth wrapped Model 3 that is pretty much done. We're just coating all the glass on it. Uh, uh, paint's been coated. Uh, wheels have been coated. Yeah, so this is in the final stages of uh, getting ready to go home. Model Y here, this was uh, wrapped and has C-quartz on it. Obviously getting the glass coated too. These two guys are on lunch playing Super Smash Brothers. Another fully wrapped Model Y. So this car was fully wrapped and uh, it still needs the wheels and coating and a bunch of other stuff done. But the paint's all done. You can see how glossy it is. Another Model Y getting fully wrapped over here. This one's been fully corrected. So the paint's all super glossy. Uh, right now it's undergoing the wrapping part where we put all the film on. And then after that, we'll do a wheels off detail. So those will come off. And then, you know, our normal thing, we'll finish everything with ceramic coating, C quartz finders reserve paint, wheels, glass, and trim. In 2014 or 15, I did this Model S. It was back in Walnut Creek days with just me and Ryan. Um, it's really cool to see a car that I did, you know, seven, eight years ago or six or seven, yeah, seven or eight years ago. It came back and she was like, hey, you know, my car doesn't look as shiny as it used to. It's not as clean as it used to be. It's a little bit harder. The car got here and I was able to do a really strong wash on it and get the coating to come back to life. So basically I just did a really, like really quick, like, five hour detail on this car and uh i could literally feel the remnants of the work i'd previously done on it how fast the paint cleaned up how little chemical etchings there were on the paint and like this car has been heavily used and lives outside and like um the customer really drives it i don't know how many miles are on it i could go look uh i, I was just super impressed with how well this held up and here let's so i figure i'll show you guys the end result of a uh car getting deconned and cleaned up. Of course, though, right after I finished it, I pulled it outside and it rained on it for 20 minutes and then stopped raining. Basically what we did is uh, I did a one step polish on this, which literally got rid of, I would say 80% of the defects on the paint. And then I coated it again and we coated the glass again and we did the wheels off again. So you can see they're all shiny and bright. We did this, a couple of us did this in like four or five hours. It wasn't a big job by any means, but uh, it came out super nice. And it, it was just cool to see. And I know the customer's gonna be really happy seeing her car back to the shape because it did not look like that when it came in. It looked like a car that had been driven for eight years, but. You know, the cool thing about the products we use, they hold up, they just work. Like, uh, you know, it's like the car didn't have any permanent chemical etchings on the paint, even though there were a bunch on the surface of the coating, everything came right off super fast. So seeing stuff like that makes me really happy. It's, it's, uh, brings some joy to know that like, okay, well, this is why we do this. Cause all this stuff really works well. And we got a super cool type R over here. We're going to do some work too. This is for a very special customer who, um, uh, is a good friend of mine too. And he did not like the fake carbon fiber that comes on these. If you know anything about a Type R, typically this piece, that piece, and on the back, they have these pieces that are um, plastic that looks like carbon fiber, but it's not. Uh, so he replaced this with real carbon fiber to the tune of a bazillion dollars. Um, and also had some really, really expensive spoiler for this thing. But uh, it, it, he dropped this one off for a full wrap. So it'll be fun when we get to see it all done. Um, and then you got Alex's car. Uh, notice the windows are all tinted so he can watch porn in privacy. Yeah, it's really important to him. Yeah, right, let's go see what's going on on the other side of the shop. Da, 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 da. On a side note, here's a lift that was like a week old that broke dangerously, I might add. So, dear Stratus Lift Company, thank you for taking care of us and offering to send us a new lift like a month ago when this one broke, but it's still not here. 
We have a 9-11 and Carlos's hair is slicked back. <laughs> this 9-11 came in, uh, we're gonna go ahead and tint this whole thing. Uh, windshield, side windows, back window. Um, then we got a couple more Teslas over here. This is a full stealth wrap and a chrome delete. So this car's all done. We just need to uh, do one fender and finish the chrome delete on it and we'll send it home. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe with OC Detailing. Please subscribe for more videos.